So I often get asked, Turbo, how do you make it look like your guns have no recoil? So today we're going to be outlining some in-game tips while building your loadout of some things that you should solely be focusing on in order to achieve the quote-unquote no recoil look when you're firing your weapon. We're also going to go over some practical tips that you can practice in a private match. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can detect what the recoil pattern looks like and how to counteract that in order to get the best shot possible for no recoil. And then I'm going to show you guys some hidden stats about certain attacks attachments in the game that actually control that recoil that the game fails to tell you that it does. This is some pretty shocking stuff and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to start gravitating towards those couple attachments. So we got a lot of good information coming up here and if you do find this video helpful make sure to leave a like on the video support it and of course subscribe if you are new around here. We've been gaining lots and lots of subscribers in the past couple months and I can't thank you guys enough but if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to join Turbo Nation today make it official hit the subscribe button turn on notifications as well so you never miss a brand new video right, so the first thing I want to go over here is in the gunsmith so there's a lot of ways that you could control recoil first key thing is going to be the barrel we're gonna be using the kilo today as an example and the kilo is actually one of the best no recoil weapons in the game so mostly every weapon in the game has a barrel attachment and they do have similar traits as far as pros and cons go we're obviously interested in recoil control so if I'm gonna be using something like the Syngard arms whisper this has no recoil control to it so your better options are going to be the 19.8 inch barrel or the 16.6 inch barrel. All right, so taking a look at this website, it's called truegamedata.com. I featured this website on multiple of my videos in the past already. You should go check it out if you haven't yet. If you take a look at the Syngard Arms 19.8 inch prowler, it gives you the best amount of vertical recoil control. So negative doesn't always mean it's bad. Negative is good because you're trying to reduce that vertical recoil. So that's a 32% reduction in vertical recoil versus the 16.6 inch which is at 18%. So on the kilo off, I'm trying to reduce that recoil as much as possible. I'm going to go ahead with the 19 point inch prowler. All right, so now that we've selected our preferred barrel, let's go ahead and take a look at the under barrel. So the under barrel is another one of those things that you could stack up against with your barrel to be able to help you with that recoil control. There are really only four under barrels that you should be using to help you control that recoil. So that's gonna be the commando foregrip, the ranger, the operator, as well as the merc foregrip. All right, so switching back to the website, let's go ahead and take a look at the under barrels for the kilo. There's really only four options that do control that vertical recoil. Like I said, there's only four that you should typically be using in modern warfare and the tech Tactical foregrip does absolutely nothing. You know, there's no benefits to it at all. In fact, it reduces your movement speed and that's pretty much it. So if you've been a fan of tactical foregrip, I'm pretty sure that's just a placebo effect. The Merc foregrip operator and the Ranger all have the same values as far as that vertical recoil reduction. Now, the only one that has the least vertical recoil reduction is going to be the commando foregrip. However, it does have a reduction in that horizontal bounce. So this is a lot better for weapons that do have that horizontal bounce when you're heavy firing your weapon. So that's why on certain weapons, the commando foregrip is actually better because not all guns in the game have the same recoil pattern. That's why you have to go into a private match. If you're really serious about controlling that recoil, you need to test out those recoil patterns. And actually the Kilo is one of those weapons that you need to use the commando foregrip on in order to get the most laser beam accuracy as possible. Just because it's a 6% reduction in vertical recoil doesn't mean that it's all that bad. With something like the Kilo, you do want something to control that horizontal balance and that is what's going to help you balance out the weapon overall and plus we already have that 19.8 inch barrel which is going to give us the most vertical recoil as much as we possibly can so we don't really need to keep adding on to the vertical recoil we need something to help out with the horizontal bounce as well all right so now that we've got our commando foregrip on here we're going to take a look at the optics now this is what is going to be shocking to most people who did not know about this and this was including myself as well as a majority of the population who play call of duty because the casual person simply goes off of the pros that are found in the description on each single attachment. Now, thanks to the website that I'm showing you, the VLK optic, as well as that Solo Zero NVG enhanced optic actually do reduce that recoil control. This is where I was mostly shocked. And if you take a look here, the VLK optic has a negative 10% recoil reduction, as well as a negative 10% horizontal bounce reduction. The Solo Zero is at negative 15 vertical recoil reduction. Now, like I said, 
said, on something like the Kilo, that horizontal bounce is going to be more beneficial to you because it does go off to the side at the top of that recoil pattern, which we're going to look at in just a little bit. So now that I've got my three main attachments that will control that recoil as much as we possibly can on the Kilo, I'm going to go ahead and finish putting on the attachments that I do recommend on the Kilo. We're going to go ahead and jump into a private match, and I'm going to show you some practical things that you can do to control that recoil. All right, so first things first, this is going to be the base Kilo with no attachments at all. I just want to show you guys the recoil pattern of what the base Kilo looks like. So that way, when you figure out that recoil pattern, you're going to go ahead and make adjustments on your controller to be able to counteract that recoil. So we're just going to aim down sights right here. And we're just going to fire our weapon. We're, going to, we're not going to try to control that recoil at all. All right, so as you can see, it starts up really small here. It goes up and then it goes horizontally to the left. So keeping that in mind, when you want to control that recoil, you want to do the exact opposite on your right thumbstick on your controller. Or if you're on mouse and keyboard, you want to do the exact same thing. You just want to go the opposite way when you're firing your weapon, keeping in mind this recoil pattern here. All right, so I kind of messed up right there. It's way too close. It's, it's really hard to see. So I'm just going to slide over here a little bit and I'm going to try to aim down sights right there. As you can see here, I was able to control that recoil quite a bit here, but of course it can be improved. We want to make the Kilo a laser beam. All right, so now let's go ahead and put on the preferred attachments that will control this recoil. And now we're going to go ahead and fire a weapon. So of course there's going to be a bit more vertical recoil here because we've got 50 rounds, you know, versus 30. All right, so that's already looking pretty good. If you take a look at that recoil, that vertical and horizontal recoil has dramatically decreased you know compared to here it veers off more to the left which is that horizontal recoil so like i said you want to keep in mind with these specific attachments what they do and how to use it to maximize the full potential of controlling that recoil so now let's go ahead and try to control that recoil as best as we possibly can we're going to put it over here all right so as you can see, that is much smaller. Imagine beaming this little circumference right here into an enemy. You know, this is what is going to give you that laser beam type of accuracy. And this is a huge improvement between what the Kilo looks like with just the stock recoil pattern, as well as trying to control that recoil pattern in general without any attachments. So, and all I was doing to try to control this recoil was pulling down into the right of my thumbstick, but not too much. You don't want to do it dramatically. You just want to do it ever so slightly. You also want to take a look at your crosshairs and make sure if it's going up a little bit more, just pull it down just a little bit and try to center it as much as you possibly can. So that's how you're going to be able to control the recoil. And this obviously comes with practice as well. All right. So to summarize this video, it's mainly going to be the barrel and the under barrel, as well as your optics that will help you minimize the amount of recoil that you do receive on any weapon. So these tips apply to basically any weapon in the game. If you're trying to control that recoil as much as you possibly can, you could also use the compensator, but you also have to take into account the negatives that it does come with and for most situations i believe having a suppressor on your weapon is more optimal to stay alive a lot longer you have to think practically is staying alive more important to you versus having better recoil when you can have other attachments that do control that recoil and you can still have a monolithic suppressor on there so it's really up to you if you want to use the compensator but make sure to go ahead and check out that website truegamedata.com and you know put in your own personal attachments see how they fit your personal game and if they fit your criteria of how you want to play the game and use the weapon. So uh, make sure to leave a like on this video. If you did find this video helpful, subscribe. If you're new around here, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss another video. I want to see who's part of that notification gang, man. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace. Yo, what's going on, guys? I stream on Twitch. If you guys didn't know, I stream Monday through Thursday. And it's always a fun time interacting with you guys in the chat. If you guys want to join in on the fun, link will be down below in the description. And I hope to see you there.